Welcome! A new day of our road to 2000 and we play against Nick Wilkins Chess again. A rematch we played against each other yesterday and let's see how we would do today. And we end up in a Sicilian, maybe into a Nidorf if it goes here. Not sure if I would recommend it because it's a very not recommended at any levels. Uh, it's a very uh, yeah, challenging and theory heavy opening. But uh, definitely something you can play. But he seems to know the main moves in this position. So that's really good. I think uh, there's a lot of moves, but um, Bishop to, uh, to e3 is one of them. Not sure if Bishop to c4 is one of them, though. Never really seen this. Maybe this is a move. Hmm. Never seen this. Not in, not in these kind of lines. It must be wrong, but then the question is why is it wrong, right? So I was thinking about here, here, cutting my rook, takes, takes. Hmm. Maybe I should go here actually. Probably I should. I have a strong center. Probably that's the right move to make. There's not really a check here now. I could also just simply castle, right? Leave the bishop there. Maybe that's what I should do. Let's just castle here. Bishop there. Think of takes. We will take back. And then I think we can stop pushing the D pawn. Okay, it tries to close the position. I think we should probably take... Hmm, maybe it's actually not too bad for him. What about this move? Yeah, then it probably will take here. Maybe this. Yeah, but he's threatening to go here. Threatening to go here. So I was thinking here takes, takes. This pawn is still defended. And probably I have this push right on time. Let's see if that's the case. Let's see if that's the case. Probably he will take here. I think I will go b5 next. Interesting position. Or rook c8 even is a good move. Mm. Ah, he goes for the aggressive setup. Interesting. Interesting position. Takes doesn't really do anything. Ah, I might think this is a good move. Takes, takes. I have a check here. I think I should play for that. But we could take back. Okay, but here you can take back with the pawn. Check. And my bishop is locked in. So if it takes, then he should take with pawn. And then I think d5 is the move. 
maybe not. Maybe not. Takes, takes. Right here. Yeah, I think that's good for me. Let's check again here. One takes, check. And I can even go forward. I don't see it. So let's take here. If it takes with the bishop, then I will take here. And then I have this check in the end. I think that's favorable for me. I think that's favorable for me. I could also go here. But he's threatening this pawn. Hmm, interesting position. Let's go for it! I think uh, that preventing my opponent from castling could be strong for me. He goes there. Interesting. Because now my queen will come in. I think this might be the best approach. Uh, so at some point we will play g5. Okay, well we take. Can check here. But then what? But then what? Hmm. Very interesting position. Very interesting position. Think here. Or maybe knight here first. Picking away. Ah, that might be interesting. Here. Oh, but this pawn is hanging, right? Both pawns are hanging. Here. Here. I don't really have a follow-up there, I think. This is an option as well, but then Rook will simply come here. So thinking here, and then here. Yeah, I think that looks fine for me. Go here, put the Rook behind it. And if this, then we'll go here with a nice outpost here. We'll definitely have compensation because of the, um, the loose king here. We'll definitely have some compensation. Maybe I have a nice intermezzo here, depending on where he goes. Look to c8. Uh, let's see. Let's see. And his knight at the moment is not too strong. Goes there. That is interesting. That is very interesting. I think I'll go here. But maybe I should go rook c8 first, attacking this weakness. Maybe not. Let's go here first. Then rook here, rook here. Probably the other way around. First rook here, then rook here. Again, thanks again, Nick Wilkin, Wilkins Chess for the game. He's a subscriber. He added me on chess.com as a friend. So please do that as well as you would like to play a game against me. And uh, yeah, we'll make sure to schedule a game. I really lo love to do it. And already many people were before you, so it's not weird to add me or something. So just uh, please do it. Please do it. I think this is a good move. I think this is a good move. Maybe he wants to go here and here. It might be strong. Here, here. But I think I'm just in time then. Maybe this is, a, is the better move. Oh, whatever. Let's just go here. And I will push this pawn. Yeah, but now, so I get this square, and now this is a very juicy field for my knight, right? So look for weaknesses in the opponent's position. I already saw it. 
uh, a time back, right? That it would be really nice to get the knight here if the chief five pawn gets pushed. And yeah, there's no really way for him to get my knight out of that position. And yeah, from there, you know, how, how is he going to kick it away? Already threatened to give a four. And um, yeah, my rook will likely enter the game. Maybe at some point also d5. I need to watch out for this pawn. This is then not protected anymore, so only at the right time. But that will open up the position completely. So please watch out, watch out Nick, for this fork. We don't want to see this fork on the board. No, protest gambits today. But uh, yeah, I'm very, very strong. Like I have a very strong position here. Yeah. It's, uh, I think this, this is a winning advantage uh, for me. And my, so if, the, if he goes this way, then maybe the queen also joins the party. Tries for a trade of queens, which I of course will never allow. I think I should maybe give a check first. Get my knight to the right to the nice square. Okay, let's do it. Let's give a check. Probably will try to flee here, but then I think I will move my queen here. Hmm. Does that work? Does that work? Here, then maybe here. I think maybe I should go here and then here. That looks very strong. Here. Look here. Recording this part as well, right? So it looks very good. And so uh, this is a big threat. This is a big threat. Let's go here first. He needs to defend this pawn. Maybe he'll go here. Maybe this is faster, but I like to bring in my pieces first, right? If you're on the attack, bring in your pieces. The more pieces, the merrier. Right, there's more on the attack and then there's more pieces to do harm with. I think this is a very logical follow-up takes and I think my pieces just uh, come in from everywhere. Maybe this is a good move. Creating some more weaknesses. Maybe this. Then the knight awkwardly placed. Oh, maybe he wants to go there anyway. I think this is just a very strong move. But what if he goes out of the way? Takes. Hmm. Not so clear. Yeah, I think I should just go here. Open up the position. Maybe it's not best. Maybe it's not best. I don't know. Takes. He might be in time to bring his rooks into the game. Hmm. Maybe. This marvelous maybe also a move. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. And then this pawn is, is weak, right? So. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. But. Ah, I think the better capture might be to take like this. Attacking the queen. And then maybe take here next. That is also something to consider. Takes here, where does the queen go to? Cannot really take here. Oh, this might be the best capture because I will take here with check. Oh, that's interesting. I think I will just take here with the check. Driving this piece is back. This might be a good move now. Huh? 
Where does the knight go to? Where does the knight go to? Check. Here. This is a very concrete option, of course. Okay, yeah, then we have check here already. Yeah, maybe that's just easiest, the easiest way to approach this. Maybe that's just best. Oh wait, there's even a fork here. Okay, goes there. Goes there. What about this move? I could also simply take here. Maybe, maybe bring queen in. Or maybe it takes one. Takes, takes. Queen here looks very strong. This move. I'll take here. Okay, let's just take here first. Let's just take here first. He just leaves it. That can't be good. That cannot be good. He has nerves of steel. I don't really see an attack by him. Maybe there is. I don't know. What about Rook here? That looks very good. Bring in the other Rook as well. I need to watch out for my time. I'm a bit low on time. I think that's important. Here, here. This is not a move, right? Because I can simply take, because this pawn is pinned. It's an important detail. It goes there. Interesting. It certainly does have nerves of steel. Go here now. Connect the rooks. And this pawn is also weaker. What about this move? I think I would just simply move this pawn forward. On the other hand, the question is what am I really threatening? I think I will go forward now. So far, there's no way for him to get on this diagonal. But maybe he will get there, and I think this is a good move at some point. Yeah, I was thinking about that indeed. And what about this move? Let's go here. Takes, takes, and maybe this move at some point. Not sure. Hmm. Not sure if this is so great for me. It takes, takes. And I thought I at least. Here, then it goes here. I also need to watch out here, right? So here. Here. And, oh wait, this pawn helps, right? So I can just take. And then the rook is defended. I think next we'll just put the rook behind it. Uh, okay. Maybe this is a good maneuver. This pawn is weak. Interesting. 
interesting position here. I'll just go here. Let's go here. Here. I think I can just go here. Threatening to take this pawn, but also threatening to go here. And after this move, I think I have this. Or maybe even here now. Well, that's maybe the most active move. Here, here, here. Oh, that doesn't work. Tense game, tense game. I think I'm very much winning here. I think after this move, I was thinking about in this move and then just go here. This should be completely over. Hmm. Maybe that. Maybe it's not completely over actually. Hmm. Yeah, what is the best move? I saw some... This doesn't work because of this. Oh, it does work. Here. Here, here, takes, takes, and if takes, takes. I think it works. I think it works. I think it works. I think it works. I need to watch out for the back ranks, huh? I think here, and I think this is the right move. Goes there. Trying to set up some trick. Uh, maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. Interesting move. I think I can just go here. I think I can do this move and take here. And then we're in time here. I think. If I'm correct. If I'm correct. Uh, takes. This works. Go here. Then I will simply promote. The knight doesn't have any squares anymore. I think this is game over. Paul will promote. If he would have taken here, I would have taken with uh, the rook. Well, the only option basically. Um, protecting the back rank mate. Yeah, this is uh, called living on the edge. Living on the edge. And now there's no back rank checkmates, right? Because also the king simply defends the e8 square. And yeah, let's just promote to the queen. Everything is defended. Could have taken, takes, queen check, but this is much cleaner. This is much cleaner. And uh, yeah, I think to go checkmate in many ways, probably. Uh, he goes there, check, and he escapes here. 
Let's not make it too difficult in time pressure. Uh, let's go here. Let's see if we can checkmate them here. Uh, interesting. We'll go here. Protecting everything. Check. Checkmate! Thank you so much for the game! And let's check out the game review. 87.9% accuracy. Played like an 1800. Okay. A bit worse than my last few days. But uh, let's see. So we entered the knight of position here. And yeah, like I said, bishop c4 is not what I've seen before. But I didn't know the right response either. I played castles. There was a better move. The better move would have been queen to c7. Castles is the second best move, by the way. And here bishop to d5. Okay, and then bishop e6. Yeah, okay. Bishop e3 and just simply develop. But castles was also very good. Bishop to e6, a good move. That's just, yeah, I, I, was, I was happy that I developed here. g4, question mark, because now takes. Oh, this did work. Okay, I was worried about takes. Check. Okay, I got this far. King d2, okay. King, let's say king d2, best according to the computer. And then b5. Okay, yeah. So, uh, but still, takes. Okay. Takes. Takes, takes, okay. But that's about equal. So I don't really understand why this is so amazing then. And what if king here? Knight to b6. Ah, okay, yeah, if takes. Then we take the bishop. Queen here, and we simply take, yeah, rook c8 is even better. And we have a better position. Okay. Okay, but this option also worked. And a check. Takes, sure. And the check here. This would have been better. Okay, yeah. The most forcing moves first. C3. And then probably... Uh, no. Queen B6 is the third best move. Knight B6 is better. Yeah, I think I calculated this. But then... Knight C4. Yeah. Okay. Double edged. But this was all very good. Yeah. Great square for the knight. And I'm completely winning here. Minus five. Good. But at some point I didn't play the right moves. Ah, yeah. I was looking at h5 here, which was better. To dislodge this knight, right? This knight doesn't have a good future. And if we were to move the a pawn, then the knight is not protected anymore. I did think about it, but king c2. And a4. No. No. Okay. And yeah, this is already not working because this move probably, right? Yeah, d4. Okay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, instead, yeah, my laptop got a bit slow. So let's hope everything is working now. Check was not the best move. King to c2. And then taking on f3. I'm up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm up 2 pawns. Yeah, he should have simply took, should have simply taken. But now my rook comes in. Yeah, not the best move, but a good move. The second best move, so that's a completely fine. And, oh yeah, queen forward to go for the... But what if this? Then, ooh, knight takes the c3. I still don't see it. Check. Oh, this is going to be a checkmate. Okay. No, I didn't see that at all. And if it takes like this, then queen g6 check. Did you see it? I did a fork with the queen. Yeah, okay. Mm. Okay, sure. Sure. Okay, I think g6 was also fine. And now a4 is a bit late. This is pawn hangs instead. This is the better move. 
Now the knight or the rook has to move back to h1 actually. Mm. A4 and yeah here the queen takes and simply takes back takes back and yeah I think now the pawn push is good I could also go for the rook trade here rook a3 but I thought the pawn push was completely fine knight here not the best move I will just slide my rook over, attacking here and also threatening to go here, helping this pawn to promote. I thought now this would have been a move and I thought that this was a move, maybe I'm completely wrong and then here I thought this, but it doesn't really work. Ah, no it doesn't work. Ooh, I'm lucky that it didn't go this way but Maybe I would have gone knight to h3, I also looked at it, and yeah, less um, less complicated, knight e2, yeah. and then rook f3, simply defending, and yeah, basically playing the position at some point, make sure that this rook joins the party, have to move like this, yeah, rook e3, is already a uh, good move, no, sorry, rook that hangs, Backring checkmate right, rook e3 attacking the knight and the knight has to move and then I'm going here probably right so if the knight goes here then this is a good move okay so that's not how it went and I think we conferred this quite well like I said if takes here I simply take back with the rook and we won a knight and my opponent cannot stop promotion so yeah, he played on, but yeah, this is uh, pretty much game over. Check and checkmate. Thank you so much, Nick Wilkins Chess. And again, please add me as a friend on chess.com on their chess explainer, and we'll play a game as well. Don't forget to like, subscribe. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.